So I'm going to use paper from American Crafts and I chose to use the 5th and Frolic and I didn't have enough because I've been making a lot of mini albums for my family members so I went with Neapolitan too and it has some really nice um, complementary pieces. I took, I've already cut most of my um, frames already so I just need to do two more pieces and I find that with my um, Vagabond I can put two pieces together and I can layer it how I want. Now with this die you want to make sure that you put the um, bottom part it's going to be able to see more so if you want to have a certain piece like for example this dream or this flower you want to make sure you kind of get it in there like that otherwise um, like if you put it over here you wouldn't see it or you know just make sure you might get it cut off from here or there so you just line it up and I will take my Sizzix Big Solo Shim put that in I put in a sandwich plate clear one and then I will put my two pieces of paper make sure they're lined up I also like to use washi tape but I don't if you get the hang of it you really don't need to I think I'll be okay with it there. I don't want to put it too close to the edge in case it gets cut off. Then I'm going to put this piece. Um, this is, I took this from my Big Shot and I just unscrewed the thing because I can't find that shin that will go in with the thinner wafer thin dies. So this works fine for with me. And I don't have my Big Shot anymore. So this one, that's what I use until I can get one. And then you just run it through. Of course, I'm not lining it up, but that's okay. And you can see it's got one, and if you take the rest of the die you can see this one more take your little poker thingy and you can poke out the other pieces from the back side and they'll just come right out and that one just comes right out there like that the picture I uh, have here I just cut it out I like what what I like to do is I like to print pictures on my Canon Pixis 990 and I get eight of them on one sheet. This is a perfect size when using this die and the hole in the center of your folder right here is about two and a half by two and a half. So if you measure it runs about a little over two and a half and then it, of course it's longer depending on whether you're doing it horizontal or vertical. So if I'm going to use it this way, I really don't need to worry too much about cutting. I just have to make sure that I have it this. So what I would do is I would make sure that I cut it um, just slightly larger than two and a half. So we're going to cut it. So if we want to, let me see. Let's cover right here. If you measure this ridge is about an eighth. So you want to make sure you have an eighth on that side. So this is going to be two and a half from that piece. You want to make sure you have an eighth, two and a half, and an eighth. Right, guys? Right, that's what I say. Like that. And that should be a perfect size to go over. Ta-da! Your frame measures two and a half by two and a half, and you want to make sure that you cut your picture to about two and three quarters. That way, you'll have enough space to do it. So, for example, if this goes on here, it fits perfectly on the back of your picture like that. So let's just measure one more time. OK, 
Okay, your frame, your frame measures two and a half by two and a half. So you want to make sure that you cut your photos. This is a funny one of my mom and I, but you want to make sure you cut it to two and three quarters or almost two and three quarters. That way you'll get enough edge on the outside to glue it down and you won't have anything showing. Fits, fits perfectly on there. Okay, so I've glued all the pictures to the photo frames. Now what we're going to do is we're going to take a piece of paper. This is just from an eight and a half by 11 and you wanna cut a strip of about two and three quarters. It's gonna be just shy of your photo frames, but this is gonna be what holds all of the photos together. So you lay it on your scoreboard and you're going to to score alternately at a quarter of an inch this way flip it quarter of an inch all the way till it's done now I have 15 pages so what's going to happen is I'm gonna put the base the bottom one here and then you're gonna put the second one here third one here like this and the top one will be up here then if you basically if you make many folds like this, you don't need to use that many. If you only have seven pictures or five pictures, you're gonna have an, an odd number because this will be a single bottom base. And then the top one would just be, like this one's on here, but you would cut it off. And then it would be like the bottom and then the top would be here, like this. Or you would just glue the top here. So ultimately you could have one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen, fifteen, sixteen, seventeen pictures if you wanted to. But I'm only gonna use fifteen, so I will cut off a piece up here. Now that's ready. Now I'm going to take this. This is going to be my cover. So I'm gonna make the cover first by scoring. I want it to be a little bit bigger than my photo frame. So if our frame itself is, let's see, just shy of three, I'm gonna make mine three and a quarter. That gives me a little bit of leeway. So I'm gonna cut a strip three and a quarter and then I'm going to score it again in the middle to allow room for my base. So I've cut my paper at three and a quarter and it's the same 11 inches still. So again, I'm gonna score four at three eighths. You want to leave about a half an inch for yours here. And then you want to make sure that you have the same amount of distance on this one and you cut it again. So we want to cut it again at four and three eighths. So four and three eighths would be here. You want to be very careful with this measurements because if you mess it up, you have to cut a new cover and it looks like this. So you would just square it one time. And then you'd sort of score it again on this side. And there you have it. Now we can start. Using my Tombow glue, I adhere the piece that we've created already. And I haven't cut this just in case I want to add some extra pictures. I've left it for now. But um, now I'm going to adhere this as my base. And I'm going to continue as I show. Let me see. I'm just gonna leave it on and fast forward this so you guys can see.
I've actually cut the extra piece off here. It doesn't matter how straight it is because you're going to cover it up anyways. So you just have this one piece. So this will be my second last one. And then make sure it's lined up. The This one will go on the very top. love this rose paper. There it is. So I'll just flip through. <laughs> Obviously this album is for my mom. I think she'll like it. That's a throwback. Getting our nails done at the airport. Karaoke with Hideki. Movies. And then we went to see Zed. There's us having drinks. And then that's her going home the last time. Now all I have to do is use the extra pieces all these pieces and adhere them and stamp and adhere and add little embellishments as I like. I will share with you the finished project. Okay, I'm going to let you know what I came up with. Here's the finished book. It looks like this. I have put some of that Neapolitan paper on there and I put some halfback pearls there and some of that small rosette trim on top and then on the back and then I stamped with love. So before I show you the inside, I'm going to go over the stamps that I used. Um, the first one comes from the Basic Gray Hero Arts. Um, it's called the You and Me and I super love the deers. I also use this You and Me here. So I love all this. I love the Sugar and Spice one too. Then I used this one by We Are Memory Keepers and I used the Keep Calm and Craft On. And that is called the Keep Calm one. And a scrapbooking friend gave that to me. This is Paper Smooches. I used the LOL and this is called Quips. Q-W-I-P-S. Then I used the Technique Tuesday. It's called The Story. And I used the Remember the Story here. Um, love this Technique Tuesday Eleanor stamp and I use this one here as, long, as well as this one. I use the fave circles and I use um, this photo with the love. I use this December Joyce one and I use the magic of Christmas and the Christmas was cut off but I really liked this one here. And then I use the My Favorite Things Christmas stamp. I don't know what the name of this one is right now, but I use the word Christmas from the magic of Christmas here. And that was a free with purchase one that I got. This is the, I don't have the name on that. It says the Leaving on a Jet Plane. And I use the Best of Times. This is the Ali Edwards one. It's called Smooches and I used I Heart You. Then the big greetings from My Favorite Things, and I used the, which one did I use? Uh, I can't remember which one. Sending big, big hugs, yeah, that's one I used. And then this is the All Smiles one, and I used the I Love to See You Smile. Then this is the Ellie Edwards one. It's heartfelt, and I use this one here, and I also use this one here. This is the um, Lawn Fawn one. It's called Say Cheese, and I did the picture perfect. Or, yeah, that's right. I really love the writing on this set. And then this is the ticket stamp set. It has a coordinating die. I use the um, movie ticket. You're invited one. 
Then I used this Dear Lizzie one, and it's... Um, I don't know what that one is there, but I used the banner flag here. And then this one was a freebie. I think it was from CHA last year or the year before. And it coordinates with the first place ribbon stamp set. And I used the um, BFF stamp here somewhere. My BFF, it says right there. My BFF. I really like this one. And I've, I've used it a few times lately. And then this is the frame greetings. And I used your one of my favorite things. I think that one's so gorgeous. <laughs> and then this is the well-worn greetings and I used home is where the heart is and this is one of my all-time favorite ones and then the with love comes from this technique Tuesday stamp set and it's the handmade seal so those are the stamps that I used in this album I know there's quite a lot I really do love to stamp and I made a bunch of extra that I'm going to be using in a different project soon. This is the upcut. Uh, this is the die that um, I sh shared with you. But the other die pieces that are available look like this. And I stamped a whole bunch of different ones. This is the banner one. This one here. This shape. And then this one like this. Super love how that goes. Then let's just get started. So there is Keep Calm and Craft On. There's my mom and I, and it says you and me, and I got some back pearls on both sides there. We were at um, a luncheon party, and then there's my mom whispering with Hideki, and his hello, I remember this story. They were laughing because there was a transvestite that was like a really old lady. It was just kind of scary. Then we have So Love These Moments, and reading Crab. That was a really fun picture. And then this is in Yokohama. You can see the big wheel behind us. And I said, love this photo. And I actually punched this out with the one and three quarter um, EK Sisset stamp. And then I, this one I used the smaller one and a half. And then I cut it straight and then put the yellow paper inside of that. This one is of the, when we were home, in, when I was home in Canada and we were at a friend's house. And they had like this life-size Santa and we all took a picture me and the cousins and my mom hopped in and this one's I heart you this is the first day that she came to Japan this past Christmas and then it says the best of times here and then this is um, me and um, my adult students we went to karaoke um, we had a big after Christmas party and that was a lot of fun and this is Hideki's um, niece and my mom and I and I put I love to see a smile and I actually went, put it separately then here I said sending big hugs and um, this was a really old one and I was fairly chubby and my mom looked really hot which she looks amazing now too but look at my hair guys <laughs> isn't that funny yeah I used to be blonde one point <laughs> and then this was at the airport just her going home and we were getting her nails done and I put some of these um, ice stickles here I love how much they, they sparkle I don't know which one these are, but it's really nice. They're like diamond ice stickles, I think. There's no name on it. Then there's Hideki and I when we went to karaoke. This was a while back. And then that was a perfect picture, so I had to put that saying. And then we went to the movies, so that movie ticket was appropriate. And then I just cut a small strip of bling to go along there. And then um, I cut out the I love you and then I, the banner and I just love you, my BFF. And we went to see Zed um, a while back when it was the um, the home show. And it's not no longer playing. It used to be next to Disneyland. Now they have OVO, though. I think it's going on right now in Tokyo. Um, we went to have a drink actually the same day. And it says, you are one of my favorite things. And then this was her when she went home this past, um, well, in January. It was after Christmas. And I really like this one there. Giving a hug. So that is our book, and I think she's really going to like it. Um, in case you're wondering where the ink came from, I'll just share with you. This is Art Nick or Orchid. This is the Versamark in Turquoise Gem. And that is a really lovely um, pearl. I don't... This one is a little bit finicky. You have to make sure you leave it and don't let it smudge. This is the Brilliance Pearlescent Poppy, and I super love this. I swear by Brilliance. And this is the Memento Pear Tart, which really gives you a nice green color. And um, all the black is brilliant, graphite black. 
So those are my products and everything that I used. Um, I also rounded the corners with um, a Cropadow corner punch, and this is the one and a half by one and a quarter. Or sorry, this is a half inch and then a quarter inch, and then they just have the different ones here. And I super love this. I could not live without my corner punch. So thank you for coming along, and I hope that you like my project. Let me know if um, you have any questions, or if you make one of these, let me know so I can check out yours. Um, one more thing that I want to share with you is that in the beginning, I actually said you could glue them together, but I figured that would make it too close, so I actually left it open. And when you glue the photos on the front and back, it really does keep it together, and you don't have to worry about that space. It allows some sort of room. Whereas if you were to glue it together, you have no expansion and you might get more of this going on. So I recommend just letting it um, stay free and not putting the glue in there. I'm sorry for that confusion, but we all learn it's a learning process. All right, guys, thanks for taking the time to watch the video and have a good day. Bye bye.